A cyclist in Charlotte says that he's lucky to have escaped with his life after he says a truck hit him and then kept on driving with his bike still lodged underneath. This all happened in Charlotte's Belmont neighborhood and WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly spoke to an attorney seeking solutions here trying to stop these kinds of crashes. This is the only thing remaining from my bike that I have. A tire is all that's left of Dan's bike after he was struck by a truck while on his way to work last Tuesday afternoon. I don't really know how. I just pushed off the hood and jumped off and then they just kept on going. The driver not only kept going, he says, but kept going with his bike lodged underneath. Dan asking us not to reveal his full name with the driver still out there. As a father of four, Dan says he's fortunate to have walked away without any serious injuries. But his wreck, a reminder of how dangerous bicycling in Charlotte can be. Whatever traffic interaction you can think of between two cars. We will see it between a bike and a car as well. Ann Groniger is a Charlotte attorney who specializes in bike law. She herself is also a cyclist. Unfortunately, we've dealt with a number of fatality cases around the state of North Carolina. Data from WatchForMeNC.org shows that every year, more than 850 bicyclists in North Carolina are hit by cars, making North Carolina one of the least safe states in the country for bicycling, adding that every year roughly 20 bicyclists are killed. You know, you're in an urban area, there's a lot of traffic and there's a lot of congestion anyway and for some reason people focus on bicyclists as causing that problem when really it's just overall congestion in the in the area. When it comes to bike riders rights, Groninger says in North Carolina bike riders can ride in the road and when they do the bike is considered a vehicle. So what should you do when you approach a bike rider? Well Groninger says it is legal to pass but with restrictions. The law requires a two feet of passing at least two feet of passing distance. She says ultimately many of the wrecks stem from distracted driving, speeding and running through lights, making roads not only more dangerous for bike riders, but everyone. Now back here in Charlotte's Belmont neighborhood, you can see that's the intersection where that bike crash happened, the corner of Keenan Street at Pegram Street. Uh, and Dan's family hoping that somebody's home security cameras in this neighborhood may have caught something. In the meantime, Charlotte says it is working to make the city safer for bikeless. They say they've added 12 miles of bike paths this past year with another additional 28 miles expected to come before 2024. Reporting live in Charlotte, at Ashley Daly, WCNC Charlotte. It's a pretty harrowing story that gentleman just shared. Thank you, Ashley, for that.